This video is brought to you by WP Forms. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a drop down menu for your WordPress website. This is an easy way to organize your content so that users can find it easily without cluttering up your navigation area. As your site grows, you probably have a lot more information that you want to share with them, but you don't want to clutter the, the navigation menu. Or if you have an online store, this would be crucial for you to set this up. So if you see with WP Beginner, we have a navigation menu with three drop downs, and you'll see that we've kind of separated it out by different categories or different ways that we think will be interesting for the user. For instance, the start here, as you see, we've broken it out by a blog or a store or a website builder. And these are all mostly the same thing, but they're broken out just a little bit different because the ultimate goal of the reader is just slightly different. So that's why we've broken that out. Same thing with deals. We just have multiple coupons. And instead of cluttering up our navigation, we've put it all under deals. So let me show you how you can do this for your website. First, let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we're going to be working with menus. So to do that, we need to go under appearance and let's go to menus. Now, if you have a site that you've been working on for a while, you probably already have a menu, but let's just go ahead and we're going to create a brand new menu. So let's create a new menu. If you don't have any, then this was perfect to start from here as well. The menu name is just for you so that you can handle, so you'll know which ones you're working with. So I've created a name. You have to click save menu. And then we see all of this item, all of these items here. And then over on the left, you can choose which ones to do. Normally there's a, an about page and a contact page. And what I'm going to do, because most places will have a contact page, I'm actually going to create a contact page. And because a contact page usually also has a form on it. So I'm going to add my WP Forms. WP Forms is an amazing and simple to use contact form plugin that you can do to add a simple, as simply as a contact us page or something as extensive as a workflow for your business. And so you can do that and add that here. If you want to get started with WP Forms and check out everything that they can do, then head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner. And then make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to use the paid version for WP Forms. And now getting back to creating the menu, you want to select all the ones that you want to add to the menu and click add to menu. Then you can also, if you have very popular post or a post that's like your ultimate guide to something, you can select that if you wanted to and add that to the menu as well. What a lot of people like to do is maybe they'll put categories as their menu item. So if you have a lot of categories, say in business or marketing, and you want to make that your menu item, then you can do that. And so once you have your main menu area set up, then we need to go in and select a few more that need to be under the main menu. So for instance, these two are going to be subcategory of the markup. In order to do this, I simply need to left click and drag it up. And you see when I left click and drag, we have this outline indention here. When I let go, now you see it's called a sub item. And I want to do the same for this. And that's also a sub item. So now we've created a drop down navigation for markup. And then the others are still just main primary menu items. And then once you create your sub items or your drop down, then let's click save menu. And then we need to decide where we want this to go. Since it's our new one, we want to click under manage locations. And now this goes into themes. Each theme will have its own theme location. Yours might look different than this one. And so just keep that in mind when you're looking at manage locations. These are themes specific. So we're going to do our primary is likely the one up here when I'm on my page. So I want to select the drop down menu and we'll click save changes. And when we open it in a new window, then you see if I hover over my markup, I now have my drop down. Great. So now this is showing as my drop down. Now you can also go a little bit more granular. So I'm going to go back to the menus area. I'm going to go back to edit menu. And I want to show you that you can create even more sub headings. So I want to add this one to my menu. And right now this one is showing in line with the other. So it's its own main menu item. And 
we can bring it in to be a sub. Now let's say we want to bring it in even more. So now it's nested even further and it will only show up when I hover over this one. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to save menu. And when I refresh and hover over, you see for this theme, it is showing a little indentation for that. And then if you wanted to, you could create a drop down for multiple areas. So say I want to move this and I just want to make it a drop down under this menu item, then you can do that. So you can have multiple drop downs like you saw with WP Beginners menu item. And once we click save, we'll visit our site and I'll show you that we now have two drop downs that we can choose from. Now you notice I keep creating something and then saving it and then opening it up in a new window. What you can also do is instead of using this area under appearance, some people like to go under customize and this will give you kind of a, a view as you're making changes to see if that's what you like. So I went to customize. Now we have a menus area. We're going to work on the donation menu. And from here you can do some of the same thing. So I'm say I want this not to be a sub menu anymore. So I want to clean this up a little bit simply because that big long title is messing some things up. So let's go ahead and I'm going to change some of the navigation, make it a little bit smaller so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now this is our menu item. And if you wanted to, we can change that name here. And basically you see whatever changes I'm making, I can see it in real time. So I can decide if I like that change or if I want to make other changes. You see it changing over here as I'm making changes over here. And then once you're happy with however your menu is, you'll want to make sure that you click publish because everything I've done so far, there's not been any changes to the live site yet. It's just me seeing this as a preview. So now that we're happy with that, we're going to go ahead and click publish. And then that will become my new main menu with the drop down over here. And then finally, if you're wanting to do something like a mega menu, check out this video tutorial where we walk you through how to create a mega menu for your website. And thanks for watching.